Whether we are neurotypical or neurodiverse, we all deserve to live a full life in a supportive community. At Autism Nova Scotia, we strive every day to help people in our autism community live the life they want, regardless of their location or support need. For close to 20 years, trailblazers in the autism and disability community have guided our work like a compass. It is because of these trailblazers that Autism Nova Scotia has grown from a single Halifax-based office to the largest community-based autism organization in Atlantic Canada. With our 11 locations across the province, Autism Nova Scotia supports thousands of autistic individuals and families each year, offering a suite of programs and services right across the province and lifespan. These supports and services include delivering innovative education and training, advocating with the autism community, building capacity in our communities, programming excellence, and legacy planning. Our work and the work of our courageous autism community has exceeded well past our provincial borders. Since the federal government's commitment to a national autism strategy in late 2019, Autism Nova Scotia has continued to push to ensure that the needs of Atlantic Canada's autism community are reflected in the strategy and that it is action-based and incorporates meaningful input from autistic Canadians and their families, autism experts, and provincial and territorial governments. We have also continued to work with our national partners to help improve autism services for Canadians. By pooling our collective resources and shared experiences, Autism Nova Scotia and other organizations across the country will be able to create best practices and reliable support models for all autistic Canadians and their loved ones. The actioning of change takes patience, passion, relationships, and collaboration. Combining that with a political will for inclusion, and you have a pathway for meaningful change that impacts the quality of life for all. As a registered charity, Autism Nova Scotia relies on individual and corporate giving to continue to support our autism community. The work we do would not be possible without the generous donations of our donors, as well as the tireless efforts of our first perspective advocates, family members, volunteers, and supporters. Together, we are building a collaborative ecosystem of support that will continue to flourish in the years and decades to come. As an organization, Autism Nova Scotia is always learning and always guided by the voices in our community progress towards inclusion at both Autism Nova Scotia and as a province comes when we listen and are guided by first voice and lived experience. In this collaborative spirit, we invited the autism community to tell us how Autism Nova Scotia and the greater autism community have shown courage. We received so many submissions we weren't able to include everything, but here's a five-minute highlight reel of what you had to say I think Autism Nova Scotia shows their courage through their values and their initiatives. Autism Nova Scotia develops lots of programs that build on understanding, accepting, and including individuals with ASD. Especially during COVID, um, Autism Nova Scotia has taken on a great initiative in creating a strong and safe community for those individuals with ASD and their families. My name is Alistair Frazier. I'm a volunteer with Autism Nova Scotia. I am currently in Spryfield and I have been a volunteer for almost 17 years. One thing I like about Autism Nova Scotia is it gives me a place to be and it gives me people who believe I can be capable of many things. Basically they helped me through quite a lot and like for example at college I wouldn't have really been able to probably even like do any of college without Autism Nova Scotia's help, like the past program especially. I think a lot of thanks goes out to them. I show courage by helping other people. I show courage by applying for jobs this year. I've been shown courage by being at the center to my family, my roommates, all that fun stuff. I think Autism Nova Scotia has shown courage this year by coming up with new programming virtually. The trivia group, HRM, 
social group, uh, the Netflix parties. Um, it gives you something to look forward to on the times that we are told to be at home. Through their out of the box thinking and how they are so committed to creating new and fun educational resources for our community members that are um, person first, person centered, and just out of the box thinking that um, not a lot of other organizations may be thinking of. Autism North Coast Showcase is here about continue doing their programs during the, the pandemic. Reaching out, saying, hey, do you want to like come to chat and chill? Like, you know, like just getting people out there, just like maybe people are don't like, don't, doesn't have much friends. So, you know, just getting them out of their homes to come to chat and chill. They're still continuing to find new ways to continue their programs through, through COVID. Autism Nova Scotia is a place to feel accepted and understood. People have patience and it just feels like family. Kyle, what year did you start Autism Arts? 2006. Wow, so you've been going to Autism Arts for a long time. For a long time. Do you like it? Yes. I wasn't, like before all that, I wasn't very sociable and I feel awkward, but I have more confidence of being more socialized and talking to people, even professionals. And well, I just have the confidence to speak up. I feel like I've shown lots of hope um, for me just to get out there and just like flat out just find a job that I find is more necessary to me. And yeah, I just, I think it's really fun and just really amazing. Nova Scotia creates an environment where people can feel like themselves, they can feel welcome, they can feel supported and included, all in a community that is accessible and available for its participants, its volunteers, and its staff. I've shown courage by engaging in virtual meetings to meet new people, and I really like hanging out with my new best friends. I think they've shown courage by keeping the program open during these hard times and also being a voice for autistic children who are going back to school and need help. And the thing that I found that I was really courageous is that I try my best to make my brother feel way more comfortable around my brother with disabilities. And I'm trying my best still. I, he's still working and he's still improving and there's the best of luck for him. Autism of Scotia accepts people with different disabilities unlike no other place. So it's like a place for all of us to be ourselves. You just be who you wanna be, let your freak fight fly. This is community. This is people working together. This is people who have hope for a better future. And more than that, a better present. We're doing it. Together, we're doing it. My mentor devoted her time to me, sometimes in the evenings, despite her job being a shift worker. Sometimes she had to work at night and stuff, and she was really tired, but she went on through. They have sent a very large virtual hug um, to all of the families that have a loved one with autism around this province. Uh, although we can't be together in person, uh, their role in advocacy and support for families during a pandemic has been uh, extremely appreciated. I attended a lot of programs with Autism Nova Scotia, and I attend even though I'm still getting up the courage to speak in groups and be comfortable. I do the programs because I have courage, but even if I don't speak, I still show up and try something new by attending online programs and getting used to things that I didn't know before. Courage to me is seeing that leadership from um, our executive director, Cynthia Carroll, as well as the phenomenal staff um, who work uh, across the province with Autism Nova Scotia. And I think, you know, um, what I hope we can recognize most of all is the courage shown from autistic Nova Scotians um, across uh, all age groups as they've, you know, had uh, a lot of challenges navigating all of the different changes that have come our way over the last year. I have taken my vaccination and now I'm on my way back to work to continue where I left off on my job. 
to those of you who might get anxious about getting the vaccination, I find that breathing helps, is very helpful. It, helps, it allows me to relax, take it easy. Vulture social groups, summer camps, and the best part of camps is going to and having ice cream. How have you shown courage this past Staying year? Positive. These have been and continues to be difficult times that we're living in. And I commend the autism staff and volunteers for their selfless dedication and courage during the last year. I personally want to thank them for all their hard work and the fact that they've given up a lot of personal time and it's just an awesome team that we have here. And I just, uh, as chair of the board, want to thank them for all they do for the organization and more importantly, for the autism community as a whole. In the course of the COVID-19 pandemic, I've seen the strength of families, leadership of the ANS board and flexibility and hard work of our staff. It's truly inspiring and I have a tremendous amount of gratitude to be associated with such a courageous organization. We are witnessing many acts of courage, compassion, and community that provide inspiration and underline the power of the people within this organization. We can see all around a sincere desire to not only survive, but to thrive. We have discovered that in crises, our homes, living rooms, bedrooms, kitchens, even our bedroom closets have become places to where programs are delivered virtually, our social programs, educational programs, support programs, and much more. I like helping out with the camp. I have been resilient during the pandemic. I've kept good grades and I've stayed self-regulated. I am now going to volunteer soon in my own field. Autism Nova Scotia reached outside of their normal programming to embrace a wide spectrum of individuals during the pandemic. And because of this courageous act, I was able to step outside of my comfort zone and step into my very first job interview, which I got, by the way. We wish to thank the amazing trailblazers in the autism and disability community who are the true heroes of our story many whom we walked with over the years and have left us, but their legacy lives on in the work we all do. Together, we can make Nova Scotia a truly accessible province. And together, we can make the dreams of today the new normal of tomorrow.